Hey Mathletes, today we are going to discuss Australian Maths Contest Year 2021 test paper for the middle primary. So let's get right into it. Question number one, how many dots are on this domino? So we have this diagram given where there are some dots in it. When the question asks how many, we need to perform the counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven dots, option number B. Question number two, what is the difference between 14 and two? When the question asks the difference, we need to understand that they are asking to perform the subtraction minus. So let's do the subtraction between 14 and two. Four minus two is two, one, answer 12, option number C. Let's get into question number three. The Nigerian flag is white and green. What fraction of it is green? Well, I have uh, I do not have the colored print here, so you can see that there is a dark shade and there is a light white shade. Um, so let's assume that the dark shade is the green color. The flag is of rectangular shape and there are three parts, uh, which has been divided into three parts, equal parts. Two are shaded and one is non-shaded. Uh, so 2 by 3 total is 3 which is denominator and 2 which are been sh uh, colored as green or dark uh, are 2 which is 2 third option number E next question is 234 234 plus 100 so let's perform this addition 234 plus 100 plus is for addition as you know so 4 plus 0 is 4 3 plus 0 is 3 2 plus 1 is 3 334 option is D next question is how many minutes are in a quarter of an hour so when you have a quarter, you know that it represents one fourth. And in an hour, how many minutes are there? Because they're asking, the question is asking in the minutes. So you need to convert hour into minute. It is talking about an hour, so it would be 60 minutes. And quarter is one fourth, as you know. So one fourth of 60 is 15. You can, if you, you are well versed in um, table, uh, you can ask yourself what times 4 is uh, 60, which is 15 times 4 is 60. Another way of doing this could be that you draw a clock. Uh, one hour represents, uh, one uh, whole round represents one hour. Uh, if you do the half of it, half circle would be 30 minutes here and 30 minutes this side. If you do the further half of it, which is the quarter of each uh, of the whole circle. So this half would be divided further into 2, 15 and 15. Right. And similarly for the rest of the quarters as well. Um, then the first quarter, one quarter value would be 15. So option number C. Next question is about uh, My tank can hold 80 kiloliters of water. So the indicator on the tank shows the water level inside the tank. So I'm reading question number six, where there is a diagram given of the tank, which has water in it, and it has some uh, indicators given as well. The question says further, which of the following is closest to the amount of the water in the tank? So as you can see that these are the indicators given. Uh, so let's start reading the scale and then figure out uh, what would be the value of each scale, right? So let's start counting the uh, bigger lines. One, two, three, four, five. So what we're gonna achieve is that the, the water, the level of water is 80 liters and there are five uh, larger indicators given. So we need to find out the depth of the water uh, between these two indicators right so there are five and total water is 80 so if we will divide 80 kiloliters by 5 that will be 16 
would be for the water level between these two indicators. Similarly, for 16 would be between these two and what uh, and so on. Now look at the smaller uh, line between these two. That is mostly the half of the uh, bit, uh, half of the length between or length or the uh, unit between these two uh, lines. Then 16 divided by 2 is 8. All right. Now they are asking where there is this indicator being given. A uh, tank shows the water level inside the tank. Which of the following is closest to the amount of water in the tank? So they are talking about this particular indicator. What would be the value of this uh, level? So uh, let's count how many uh, bigger scale it is uh, reaching out to. So 1, 2, 3, 4. It is reaching to the 4 bigger indicator. So 16 times 4 is 64. So definitely it's going to above uh, 64 liters and uh, the level, the water level between this and this is uh, basically 8 liters. So if you can add 72, uh, 8 to the 64, it would be 72. So this existing and um, the question that is asking the indicator would be somewhere between 64 and 72. Now look at the answer options. So 35 kiloliters is out of the question because uh, uh, it is definitely going to be above 64 and 72. This is all 45 is also not ever answer. 55 2 is uh, below 64, not ever answer. 65. Hmm. 65 definitely fits into our uh, criteria, but lo let's look at the option number E as well. 75. 75 is definitely not here. In order to get the 75, it must have to cross this line. So answer is 65. Next question. Which number makes this number sentence true? Unknown number minus 5 equals 9. So we can say minus 5 equals 9. We can also say unknown numbers equals 9 plus 5. Let's take an example that if you have uh, 5 candies less than someone and that someone has 9 candies, that, that also means that the someone has 5 more candies than you. So you have 5 less candies than someone and you, you can also say that you have 5, that someone has 5 more candies than you. So you will end up with you know giving them five more right so since they have five more so similar to that nine plus five is 14 our answer would be 14 question number eight each face of this cube is divided into four small squares how many small squares are there on the outside of the cube altogether so as we know that there are six faces six sides in a cube uh, in each side there are four squares so 4 multiplied by 6 is 24 you are right option number D so now look at the question number 9 uh, a cross-country track is marked out with a number of flags as shown how many of the flags will be on the left of the runners where they pass them so when we are looking and going to count the flags it would be on the left take note of that so let's go and uh, find out the start point here is the start point if you face here uh, make sure that we count the flags on the left side okay so let's get it started one flag two three four five no this is not gonna be it's on the other side six seven and eight this is what we see here total eight flags option number b let's let's look into question number 10 now which one of these shaded areas is the largest so there are shapes being given alphabets a b c d and e and the question they're asking is uh, which shaded area is the largest if you look closely zoom in if you look closely these shaded areas are made of the triangles so the more shaded triangle we will count the more shaded area we will find right 
it would be covering uh, the most uh, shaded area. So let's start counting the shaded triangles uh, from the shape, uh, shape A, option number A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So what we are coming to see here that there are 16 shaded triangles for the shape B let's start counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and uh, this is half and half so 14 and one more here 15 Next shape is C. Start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. This is just 10. For the D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This and this are uh, quite mirror image, so this will make 13, and this and this will make 14. Let's go to the option number E. Start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and this half and half makes 13. Looking at the these numbers here, which number is the largest? It's 16. So the option number A, shape A will be covering the most shaded area. So option number A is our answer. Question number 11, Leo is waiting in line at school. There are four students ahead of him four students ahead of him and twice as many behind him so if and then question asks how many students are in this line so if i have leo over here in a line he's standing there are how many students ahead of him four and how many students are behind him larger line because it's two times of what we he has uh, here two times four is eight so if we add the number of people, there are 4 plus 8, 12 and Leo himself, 13. Option number E is 13 would be our answer. Let's continue question number 12 and uh, remaining in the next video. Thank you for watching.